Guys, I'm super excited to share with you the Boxer Craw from Gambler. This is a bait that I had a big part in designing. Um, it's a pretty unique bait. You, you see that there's not a lot going on with it. It's just kind of a slender profile. It's got some little legs coming off the side. And, uh, and then it comes down to these two big appendages that have these little dangly craw legs on there. Um, so the key to this bait, I designed this bait to be rigged on like a lighter weight or on, a back, or on the back of a jig trailer. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You could rig it up on like a you know flipping weight um, to punch it through mats. But the key to this bait is the action. So these claws actually provide more of like a boxing type action. You know, like one claw will go forward, the other will kind of move like this, and they'll kind of move in tandem. And uh, it's great for on the fall. So this bait's going to excel when it's sinking to the bottom. Um, it's not a real aggressive kicking action like the, the burner craw is, but it's also not a real subtle just gliding action similar to the why not. So this bait is a bait that fills kind of a gap in the gambler line, but it's also something that I've really, really wanted to be able to put on the back of my jig for a long time. It's a design that I've had in the back of my head, and I'm excited to finally have this in my hands to be put on the back of my favorite jig or to be put on just a light Texas rig and pitch it around like lay down trees, pitch it around docks, whatever it is you fish in the springtime where those fish slide up there to, you know, pre-spawn or if they're bedding, this is going to be a killer bait to throw. It's got that awesome kind of unique slow action. I think these fish are going to really chew this new design up.